Okay, we are out here with Bella. Want to thank everybody for being with us here on YouTube. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell, turn your notifications on. And for those that are watching us on Facebook, because I shared this video on there, please jump over to YouTube, watch it, and subscribe and hit the bell. We'd really appreciate that. Question is, what are you doing with the dog today? I'm glad, I'm glad you asked. We are going to teach Bella that she must listen to me before she gets what she wants. Okay? She has to listen to me before she gets what she wants. Now, this isn't going to be perfect, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm doing the camera and running the dog at the exact same time. So this is going to be a little tricky. Now, I've got two leashes slash um, check cords and two collars on here, okay? So the first one is, is this five foot leash that's coming back to me. And what that's teaching her is like we would go for a walk, okay? The second one, and none of this is harming her, this is pressure on, pressure off training concepts. You can look it up if you want to online. Very safe for the dog. Teaches them very good manners. The second one is a check cord. It's 25 foot. This is if she would get out of hand, break loose, bust on me, and I could back myself up and it is tied to my belt. Okay, I've done this in previous videos. Um, you can watch those in other videos as well with Bella or Pete or any other dog as far as that's concerned. But I, I usually use a check cord so that it keeps the dog close to me if they would break. Now, Bella loves toys. And I'm not sponsored by these, but I had a client give me one. These are really cool. Um, and they got a little squeaker in them. And Bella loves these things, okay? Look at her eyes. See how she's following it? Right here, okay? Anyway, so what I'm going to teach her is that we're going to go for a little walk. Stay. We're going to go for a little walk, and I'm going to throw the Frisbee. And she has to stay with me. Now, she's going to probably jerk away from me and anything like that because I've only got one hand to control her with. So I'm going to try to show you guys how I do this without dropping my camera or losing control of Bella, okay? Heel. Good girl, good girl. Now, all I'm doing is going in the heel position and the check cord is tied to me and it's dragging behind me. Whoa, sit, good girl. I'm gonna show you the check cord. See how it's dragging behind me, 25 feet, okay? Heel. Heel. Whoa, sit. Okay, there she is. We're all wrapped up in the check cord. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, this is going to be a little tricky, but I want to show you guys how we do this. I think this is very, very important, and you can do this with any dog. Stay. Stay. So, this is going to be a continuation. This will be a continuation on uh, from the first video because I accidentally deleted or uh, stopped the recording. So... You see how the the uh, frisbee is right in front of us, okay? It's right here, okay? And Miss Bella is right here. Now what we're gonna do, she wants that really bad. Heel. Okay, so what we're gonna do is teach her to have control and to listen to me before she gets her reward, okay? We're gonna just go along, okay? She has to listen to me. She's a young dog, but she has to listen to me and she'll learn that her reward is right over there. Let me get it back in, there you go, right there, okay? Now I can use this a couple things. I can teach her to leave it. So we're gonna do that right now, watch this. Leave it. So we put that in the command and just go right by. Heel, heel, okay? So we leave it, go right by it. Do it again. Leave it. Leave, leave it. Come on. Heel. Heel. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so that's one thing we could do. Okay. And you can tell by her barking that she really wants that frisbee really bad. Okay, but she has to understand who's in control. Okay. And this is what this is all about is teaching her who's in control. Okay. You ever see videos of dogs 
that are out of control and uh, they can do bad things okay they can attack other dogs they can attack your dog because they're out of control the the owner has no control over their dog okay so here she is heel okay now here's the second exercise you could do with this go up to it sit make her sit now she has that thing memorized where it's at okay and you could just teach her simple little retrieves by doing this right here back okay little frisbee and eventually she'll learn how to grip that frisbee in her mouth she'll learn how to work that frisbee and everything like that now i'm going to walk up on the check cord like this so she can't go anywhere i'm going to grab it out tell her to out that means basically to let go okay now then what you could do is just spend some time with her and let her play with it okay this is a controlled atmosphere everything is in controlled situation here she can't run off because i have her okay and all i'm doing is maintaining position with her with this check cord i'm walking on the check cord okay this is probably the two exercises where people lose control of their dog they tell the dog to sit come whatever they run they throw a frisbee like this and the dog runs off guess what this is the five month old dog you can't do that with she don't know any better and she's going to go with the desires of her heart and that is the toy okay so you uh i'm gonna be kind of blunt here but you can't be a, an idiot or a fool by sending a five month old dog out running away from you after a frisbee and expect him to come back it ain't gonna happen so um it could eight out of ten times but if she picks up your frisbee and sees another dog way over there and all of a sudden she's like oh i got a frisbee and now a new friend bam she's gone okay and we're going to talk about some other things about that later on so check cord now i want to i want to show you guys something notice what is hooked up to what okay see this this check cord is hooked up to her nylon leash okay only is my walking leash hooked up to the prong collar okay don't do it the other way around because if you step on this cord and she breaks on you couple things are going to happen. Number one, the, the, the prong collar is going to break apart because they're designed to do it that way so it doesn't hurt your dog, okay? They're designed to break, okay? So that these other uh, trainers um, that are a bunch of idiots that like to yank on their dogs with these prong collars, um, they're designed to break away so they can't hurt the dog, okay? And their esophagus and so forth, okay? So, and the other thing is, is that if they do break it as they run away, the dog's gone, okay? So there's no way of backing yourself up. So you do it on the nylon leash, um, collar rather, sorry, the nylon collar so that you have control of your dog. So look, I'm standing right here. This is taunt, it's not tight, it's not even taunt, but that's good, okay? So here we are. Now, she's sitting there, I could throw it. She can't go nowhere, okay? And it just landed right here. I have control of her the entire time. Now it's taunt. See how she tried to break? You see that? She thought that she was in control. This is important. I'm glad she's doing this so I can show everybody that this is, this is key. A dog will do this, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to have control over your dogs. Okay? It only works for so long when you're using treats. It only works so long... When you're, you know, out and about and there's a bunch of dogs and you got a treat sack and you're on your side, that only works so long. These dogs have to understand they cannot break. And at a five-month-old dog, she's never given me any reason to trust her that she won't. Okay? Now, look how she's behaving. Calm. She's telling me that I'm the boss and I'm going to sit here until you tell me that I can go get that. Back. Okay? Now she got her reward. She can lay down and have her reward. Now, here's what we don't want to happen, okay? And I'm going to let you see this so I can show you what we don't want. See how she's trying to 
gnaw on it because there's a smell on there, okay? If she was walking around playing with this, this is fine. But this is a training tool. This is not a rubber Kong or a chewing uh, toy. See how she's pulling on it? Okay, so this is not what we want. Now, let me back up real quick before I get ahead of myself. Check cord, okay? On any other dog, she will take off, right? So I'm gonna walk on this check cord and hold her with me here so she doesn't take off on me, okay? I'm walking on it, very gentle, not hurting her. See how she let go as she knocks my phone bat out of my hand? Okay, so now I have it and we're teaching her not to chew on toys or not to tear them apart. She can't do that. If Bella turns into a hunting dog, which I hope she does, but it's okay if she doesn't, we can't have her squeezing the bird and pulling feathers out of the bird. That, that's not going to work, okay? See, look at her. I love this face. Look at her. She's so attentive. She watches. Look at that. Look at that face. She is adorable. No, no, no. Now, see how she lunged at me and jumped at me? She's excited and she wants this, but guess what? We cannot have any jumping because jumping can hurt grandma, okay? And we're not hurting grandma, so no jumping. And that's why I said no. And ladies and gentlemen, that is, if, you, if your dog jumps, I've got another video for that. Do not let your dog jump, okay? There's only one area for jumping and that's off of a dock into the water, that's it. Um, or if you're in a totally rescue therapy, not even therapy, rescue um, agility. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Um, that's the only situation that that dog needs to jump. If I'm standing right here, she jumps like that. That is definitely a no. Ain't happening. Not happening. Not acceptable. Okay. So here we go. She's sitting there. Nice. See how she knows she's not going to get what she wants unless she obeys. And she's calmly sitting there waiting for me. This is a controlled dog. Okay. She's telling me, Hey, I can handle this now for reward. Hey, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go. Let her have it, you know, let her have the reward. Out, there you go. Hey, 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 hey. This simple, ladies and gentlemen, let her play with the toy. This is what's called playing the game, okay? Some some trainers will use dummies. Hey, 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 there you go, there you go. And this gets them all excited, gets them worked up, and then you can go right back into your training again, okay? Here we go, out, out, hey, 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 out. sit. Okay, see how she's not listening on the sit? Number one, she's sidetracked it with my son. See, she's looking for the Frisbee. Okay, now, now here's what we're gonna do. And I'm glad, I'm glad she's doing all this. This is perfect for us. Okay, she's, she's making mistakes. Now, I'm gonna show everybody what we're doing. So I told her to sit before, okay? She did not listen. I didn't really expect her to. To be honest with you, because I have my son over here making a bunch of noise, that's what she's looking at. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm grabbing my leash, which is on the prong collar. See that right there? You can see it on her. I'm gonna put it right into a sit, just like I did right there. Okay, see that? I'm not gonna say another word. Okay, I didn't scold her. I didn't yell at her. I didn't tell her no, because if I did, we would confuse her. Okay, I put her right in the sit position. Okay, now, it's making her obey when you give her a command. Okay, that's critical. She's got to learn to obey as we give her commands. Okay, now, stay. <clears throat> I'm going to stand right here on this check cord, just like this. Stay, stay, stay. There's the Frisbee right there. Stay. Stay. She wants it. She's waiting for me to talk because she's waiting for that, that magic word that's going to release her to go get that Frisbee. But we're going to make her stay right here. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts barking because she wants this so bad. Okay. We're just going to wait a little longer, a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. Now keep in mind, your check cord is only 25 feet long. Okay. Remember that. So don't go throwing that, don't go throwing that out too far. See how she broke on me? But I'm still standing on it. So she can't go. She says, oops, I messed up. I'm going to sit back down. 
because I messed up and she knows it. Okay? There's your bark that I told you about. Okay? She wants her way. She wants that Frisbee. Now, we will continue this exercise for a little bit longer. Okay? I'm not going to wear her out, and I'm not going to make you guys watch the whole thing. That's not fair to anybody here, and I'm not going to make her wait longer than she needs to before she gets her reward, because that's not fair either. Okay? So, we just do these exercises. We play the game with her. We let her have those things. Bella, back. And let her go get a reward, okay? And so you keep them engaged. Um, hopefully I didn't lose you guys on this video and you're not engaged. But this is very critical, teaching them that who's in control of the situation. Let them, them having their rewards and that you can back yourself up when you give the command, okay? And I'm glad she made a lot of, she did a lot of things for us in this video that everyone can see uh, what, we're, what we need to do in a situation where they're behaving in, situ in ways that we don't want them to or they break or they, they don't set when you tell them and so forth, okay? That's very important. So, if you're on YouTube, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. We do raw videos here, training videos. Um, you're going to see mistakes that are made, but you're going to see it as, as it happens and you're going to see as we, how we correct them. And so, I'm not giving you some um, fancy little edited videos so you see everything perfect. Uh, and then you're like, well, why doesn't my dog act like that? Well, you're never taught how to not do that. You're always just shown, you know, the dog being given a bunch of treats and the dog's obeying and you're not seeing how they get to that point. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to do things different and I want to show you guys how you work through these, these levels, especially with an older dog. You go to a shelter, you adopt an older dog and you're like, what do I do? I got this dog. He's out of hand. He works perfect for the family. We love him but his training is just ridiculous. Okay, spend time watching these videos. Subscribe to our channel. You'll get the new content all the time. I'm so backed up on videos right now, so we're trying to publish as many as we can and get them out there to you guys. So bear with me. We've got a lot of videos coming your way, and uh, we're trying to get them uploaded, but I have bad internet service where I live. So we're trying to do our best. Sometimes I have to drive to the highway to get good service and so forth so subscribe to our channel we really appreciate it again this is this is for the dog okay train dogs train dogs i can't emphasize that enough if we train our dogs we train our puppies they will stay out of the shelters that's what this is all about okay it's for the dog number one you as the consumer if i could say it that way or the families that are adopting these dogs it's you number two okay and then the trainers when the dog's happy the family's happy the trainers are happy so it's got to go in that order or it ain't going to work. So train, 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 train. And that's what I'm doing this for. So I appreciate every one of you. If you've got any questions or any comments, leave them in the section below. The comment section is below, either on Facebook or Twitter or um, Instagram, whatever social media platform this is on. Just put it in there. And if you need to get a hold of me for some questions, uh, my Facebook page has my phone number. You can email me. You can message me. Reach out to me. I want to help. So until the next video, have a good one.